Welcome to History with Master Squishies. In today's video, we'll be covering the history of the HMC M8, we'll be going over who made it, the design, what nations used it, some of the battles it took place in, and how it performs in-game. To start off with, the HMC M8 was nicknamed General Scott, or just Scott, and was designated the T-17E1 HMC. HMC means howitzer motor carriage. The HMC M8 was a self-propelled howitzer designed in 1942 by the U.S. Army Ordnance Department and was produced by Cadillac Motor Car Division with 1,778 built. Starting in 1941, a prototype self-propelled howitzer was started under the designation T-18 HMC. However, it was tall and nose-heavy, which led to it being abandoned in 1942 for the new T-41 design, but its competing design, the T-47, would win and start production. The T-47 would become the 75mm Howitzer Motor Carriage T-17E1 and enter production as the HMC M8. The HMC M8 was developed off the chassis of the M5, but featured a manually turned turret instead of the original T-47 fixed turret. The HMC M8 would stay in production until January 1944, but would slowly be phased out by the M7 Priest and the M4-105 as their production numbers grew. However, the HMC M8 turret would continue to be produced and used on other support vehicles like the LVT A4 and the T17 E3 Staghound. The HMC M8 had a single turret mounted with an M2 or M3 75mm howitzer and had a secondary 50 caliber Browning M2 HB machine gun. It had a minimum of 9.5 millimeters of armor and a maximum of 44.5 millimeters of armor. It had a crew of four, a weight of 15.7 tons, a length of 4.98 meters or 16.4 feet, a width of 2.3 meters or 7.7 .7 feet, a height of 2.7 meters or 8.11 feet, and a max speed of 36 miles per hour on road. Next, we'll move on to its operational history. In the United States, the HMC M8 was used by headquarter companies in medium tank battalions. It was also assigned to the assault gun troops of the cavalry reconnaissance squadrons to supply mobile close support, which was useful against hillside bunkers. It saw action in almost every theater in World War II, but would also see use in the First Indochina War, the Laotian Civil War, and the Algerian War. Finally, we'll move on to how it performs in War Thunder versus how it performed historically. The HMC M8 in War Thunder is pretty well done. The minimum armor is 12.7mm when it should be 9.5mm, and the maximum armor is 50mm when it should be 44.5mm. The main gun is right with it being an M2 75mm howitzer, and the secondary is right with it being a 50 caliber Browning M2 HB machine gun. Finally, the speed is slightly off with it being 39.7 miles per hour when it should be 36 miles per hour. All in all, the HMC M8 is well done and there's nothing that needs to be changed except maybe lowering the armor and speed slightly. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, squish that like button, subscribe, and let me know what you want to hear about next. I'll see you in the next one.